Tesla is recalling more than 2 million vehicles to be able to fix a defective autopilot system. In December, Tesla faced a mandatory recall of nearly 2 million cars in the US after the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, concluded that its autopilot driver assistance system was prone to exploitation. Right from the get-go, experts were doubtful that Tesla would effectively address the concerns raised by the NHTSA. And true to expectations, when Consumer Reports obtained the updated version of Autopilot, it became evident that the system could still be easily exploited. So what did Tesla fix? And why did the NHTSA prompt Tesla to conduct a recall? Join us as we delve into the latest developments surrounding Tesla's Autopilot system. From expert skepticism to Consumer Reports' findings on the updated Autopilot version, we'll provide an in-depth analysis of the current issues. And without much ado, let's get started. Tesla's decision to recall over 2 million of its electric vehicles was prompted by concerns over the functionality of its autopilot system. This move aimed to ensure drivers using autopilot remain vigilant while driving. Despite being a top player in the electric vehicle market, Tesla's consent to recall came only after a lengthy two-year investigation by the US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which highlighted defects in Tesla's driver monitoring system, necessitating a remedy. The system's method of alerting drivers when it fails to sense torque from hands on the steering wheel has been criticised by experts as ineffective. According to government filings by Tesla, the proposed software update aimed to ramp up warnings and alerts for drivers to maintain their hands on the steering wheel. Additionally, the update was meant to restrict the usage areas of the autopilot system, although this aspect remained somewhat unclear in Tesla's documentation. The investigation initiated by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration stemmed from 11 reported incidents where Teslas utilising the partially automated system collided with parked emergency vehicles. Since 2016, the NHTSA has dispatched investigators to approximately 35 crashes involving Teslas suspected of operating on a partially automated driving system, resulting in collisions with parked emergency vehicles, motorcyclists or tractor trailers crossing their paths, leading to a total of 17 fatalities. Despite the reliance on torque measurement on the steering wheel as a safety measure, research by the NHTSA, the National Transportation Safety Board and other investigators suggested that this approach alone does not guarantee a driver's adequate attention. According to Missy Cummings, a professor at George Mason University specialising in automated vehicles, the consensus among researchers is that monitoring hands on the steering wheel alone is inadequate to ensure a driver's focus on the road. Furthermore, NHTSA's investigation revealed that out of the several crashes analysed with detailed data, most drivers had their hands on the wheel in the final seconds before the accidents, indicating a lack of sufficient attention. Experts argued that night vision cameras are necessary to monitor drivers' eye movements and ensure they remain focused on the road. While some Teslas already have interior-facing cameras, they are ineffective at night compared to those found in driver monitoring systems of manufacturers like General Motors or Ford, as noted by Philip Koopman, a professor at Carnegie Mellon University specialising in vehicle automation safety. While experts also agree that restricting autopilot's operation to controlled access highways would be beneficial, it remained uncertain whether Tesla will implement such limitations as part of its recall. In the recall documents submitted to the NHTSA, Tesla outlined that its basic autopilot comprises systems known as Auto Steer and Traffic Aware Cruise Control. Auto Steer is designed for use specifically on controlled access highways and will not engage if activated under inappropriate conditions. The forthcoming software update, as stated in the documents, would introduce additional checks when activating auto steer outside controlled access highways and when approaching traffic controls. However, Cummings observed that the documentation did not explicitly mention limiting autopilot's functionality to limited access freeways, a practice known as geofencing. Kelly Funkhauser, Consumer Reports Associate Director of Vehicle Technology, reported being able to utilise Autopilot on roads that weren't controlled access highways while testing a Tesla Model S following the software update. 
However, she noted the challenge in comprehensively testing all aspects of the recall due to Tesla's vague communication regarding the specific changes. Consumer reports have tested a lot of crucial features on the over-the-air software update Tesla implemented for its Autopilot Active Driving Assistance system, and their experts determined that the changes made by Tesla failed to adequately address many safety concerns highlighted by the federal regulators at the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. By recalling over 2 million vehicles, it was expected that Tesla would solve the autopilot problem once and for all. However, Tesla's remedy addresses minor inconveniences rather than fixing the real problems. For instance, the autopilot still lacks an effective driver monitoring system and does not facilitate seamless coordination between Lane Centering Assistance LCA, and the driver's steering inputs. As part of the recall solution, all Tesla Model S, Model X, Model Y and Model 3 vehicles equipped with Autopilot received software version 2023.44.30 as an over-the-air OTA update in December. Tesla stated it voluntarily released the software to address the NHTSA investigation into Autopilot. However, the recall did not include the Cybertruck nor Tesla's fully self-driving FSD feature, which had already been subject to a separate call. In light of Consumer Reports' findings, William Wallace, CR's Associate Director of Safety Policy, stated that NHTSA should immediately revisit this recall and require Tesla to take stronger steps to protect people's safety. Wallace emphasises that it's not just Tesla that needs to enhance safety measures in its vehicles. A number of automakers' systems present similar safety risks, and NHTSA should examine these systems to see whether they warrant a recall and launch a rulemaking to require new vehicles in the future to come with effective safeguards that verify the driver is looking at the road if they're using an active driving assistance system. According to Tesla, they have increased the strictness of driver attentiveness requirements when using auto steer and approaching traffic lights and stops off highway. However, Consumer Reports found that if your hands are off the wheel while going through a signalised intersection without another car in front, or if a traffic light changes from red to green, Autopilot will display a message on the centre screen instructing you to apply slight turning force to the steering wheel. Despite this, Autopilot still lacks an effective Direct Driver Monitoring System DDMS, which CR believes is crucial for the safe operation of ADA systems. Although the in-cabin camera can detect if the driver is looking away, it can be fully covered and Autopilot will still function on all road types without alerting the driver about the blocked camera. Furthermore, CR's tests revealed that even when the camera was covered and the driver kept one hand resting on the steering wheel, the vehicle did not restrict Autopilot use or issue any warnings to pay attention. As Kelly Funkhauser notes, this means the driver could potentially be asleep or completely distracted, and the car wouldn't notify them as long as they are holding the wheel. Tesla claims they have improved visibility of driver monitoring warning alerts on the touchscreen by increasing the text size and moving the notifications to a more prominent position, specifically for the Model 3 and Model Y. However, according to Consumer Reports, Warnings, such as apply slight turning force to steering wheel and please pay attention to the road, have only slightly increased in size and have been moved from the bottom to the top of the screen. Due to the design of the Model 3 and Model Y, warnings are only displayed on the centre screen, which ironically directs the driver's attention inside the car rather than toward the outside roadway. For autopilot engagement, Tesla claims to have added an option to activate autopilot features with a single click instead of two to help simplify activation and disengagement. However, Consumer Reports found that autopilot is Tesla's term for the driving mode where both Adaptive Cruise Control ACC, and Lane Centering Assistance LCA, are simultaneously engaged. Previously, drivers could activate ACC alone with a single pull of the steering wheel stalk, and a second pull would activate LCA as well. Now, drivers have the choice to activate Autopilot with a single pull of the steering wheel stalk instead of a double pull. However, testers discovered a potential issue with this change. With single pull activation, drivers cannot use ACC alone without LCA unless they adjust a setting in the vehicle menu. Moreover, if the driver manually steers to avoid an obstacle, 
both LCA and ACC disengage simultaneously, causing the vehicle to stop maintaining its set speed. Unlike other systems on the market, where manual steering only disengages LCA, Tesla's approach makes the driver unpredictable to other road users and requires unnecessary steps to reactivate the system. Instead of just reactivating LCA, the driver must also reset the ACC speed. And that sums up today's video. So what are your thoughts on Tesla's failure to address safety concerns with its autopilot system? Do you believe more stringent measures are needed to ensure the safety of drivers and pedestrians? Share your thoughts in the comments section below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found it informative. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on this ongoing issue. Until next time, drive safely.